You ever seen flip pallet tie flies? Well, not many have. Hold on, here we go. That's like butter. Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshig, a matter of Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools. And as you may well know by now, December of 2022, we were down in Mims, Florida at the home of our great friend, mentor, spiritual leader, Mr. Flip Pallet. And we actually talked Flip into tying a fly on camera. I don't believe it's ever been done before. I don't believe it's ever been seen before. So we were really honored. We set up shop uh, on his back porch of his house and he showed us a fly, which I think we're gonna get to name uh, because he really didn't even have a name for it. So anyways, here you go. The world premiere of Flip Pallet Tying Flies. Flip, you told me a story not too long ago about a fly tying vice that you and Lefty had oh, made up? Yeah, yeah, no, I have it. I have it. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. We had, there was a, a metal shop teacher in Fort Lauderdale, a really, really cool guy, mm -hmm. uh, Herman Voss. And uh, we needed, a, we needed a, some way to tie a bucktail on jigs. Uh huh. And he made this thing for big hooks. You can also tie flies with it. You adjust the hook size right here. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah. then you tighten right there. Gotcha. And I, I mean, it holds on like grim death. <laughs> I mean, you can't uh, believe how well that holds a, a hook. Wow. And that, I mean, I've had that thing for 50 years or more. So did he he just machined and, and well I tell you it, truthfully it when we got it it had one of those clamp things it clamps to a table uh -huh. Andy Renzetti made this base and threaded this the base of this thing and so this uh, okay. is Andy Renzetti had a hand in this yeah uh, and Andy Renzetti had a big hand in this this is the vice that I tie with well as cool as this is and then this is uh, I mean this should wind up in, in some sort of the museum <laughs> yeah. of fly fishing it should, you know what it should yeah it, it really should. should I'll talk to him about it yeah this is a this is a piece of history right there yeah. so he made two he made one for you and one, one for, for me and one for lefty yeah well as as beautiful an heirloom piece as this is, the uh, your master vice from uh, yeah. Lily and Andy yeah. at Renzetti. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, well, let me tie you. Fly, let me tie you. A fly. Bef before you do that, I, we we brought you a gift, okay? And this is a a holiday gift, and um, I thought these were were really kind of special. I thought of you. Can you eat it? <clears throat> I I mean, you could, but I I wouldn't. Um, what kind of scissors? Well, anyhow, these are um, do made by Dr. Slick, and they are 24 karat gold, electroplated. They're plated <laughs> twice, and then they are hand polished and waxed. And it's a limited edition series of scissors from Dr. Slick. Oh, okay. Called, Thank you so much. Called the Eldorado. I oh, know. yeah. Um, Very nice. Well, let's 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 uh, wind them up. Here, and here's a here's the four inch version, the big ones. Oh my That's gosh! That's the three Brian. inch. And then here is the arrow scissors. Oh my goodness! Plated twice, and so now you own gold plated fly tying scissors. I figured if anybody deserves it. That is so sweet. And they come in a Crown Royal bag. <laughs> a Dr. Slick Crown Royal bag. Yeah. Pretty darn cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie this fly with these scissors. You're very welcome. That's from all so of us at Mad River Outfit. Very nice. Well, thank you guys. Yep. yep. Feel I mean it this feels like feels like me, man. Like butter. Like butter. All right, so um, this fly, this is just a fly, just a fly that I tie for, uh, I would probably fish um, redfish, sea trout, um, snook. Now we have, you know, a pretty good amount of snook around. So uh, it's a versatile fly pattern uh, that I use all the time. I'm not a great fly tire. 
Um, I'm almost embarrassed for you to see me tie a fly, but nonetheless, here it goes. I'm pretty thrilled about watching. So I'm going to try my new El Dorado. Oh boy, isn't that cool? It's like butter. And they look like butter. All right, so we're going to put in a little bit of flash. And, and this is uh, just crystal flash? Yeah. And what color are you using? Um, it's sort Pearl? of a pearlish yellow. Okay. Um, so I, I hope uh, Drew Chacon is not watching this because he would uh, roll over in his grave if he saw how poorly I tie flies. I've always tried to impress him um, without a lot of success. So marabou, I mean, I just, I believe that any fly that you tie is made better with marabou. So I strip, I actually like to strip the marabou off so that it's not all one length at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, so I strip the marabou off and so that it's varied in its length. So you just stripped it off the quill and you're just trying to put together yeah. a bunch. Is this going to be the tail? This would be the tail. Okay. All right, so uh, that's, about, that's about right. And just tie that in there. And then I think I'm going to just put a little, a little bit of peacock hurl over the top of it, just because. Lefty loved peacock hurl. So I'm using some peacock hurl over the top of it. You can see that my measurements are not real precise. I was just going to say, you're yeah, not. No, I'm just winging it. You're not really bothering with no, measuring no. too much of anything. And I'm just winging it. Uh-huh. All right. And then what I like to do, I like to put the eyes on. This is going to be weighted with, with lead eyes. So I like to put the lead eyes on and I just tell you what I've been getting the lead eye. This is just a leader spool. I, I was going to say, you got to tell us about and that. I, I keep my, I just keep my lead eyes in there or bead chain, whatever. So sometimes it's hard to get them out of there. So I use the, I actually use my scissors, you know, to reach in and get a lead eye out. Nice. All right, now we'll put that on here. That right there is just so flip palette. Taking a, a leader wheel, an old leader spool or tippet spool, <laughs> flipping her upside down and it becomes a... It works uh, pretty good. It works great. And you're going with uh, red lead eyes, looks like about a size medium or so. Yeah. Okay, so now I got my eyes, I got my tail is all wrapped, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a body with uh, some chenille somewhere. That's some chenille. So you tied that in at the, at the bend, basically, yeah. and then wrapped your thread forward. Yeah.
I, I'm really not a flat tire. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not. But I have, you know what, I do it therapeutically. To me, it's just fun to do. These are great scissors. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I mean, this is the simplest of flies. And then I just take a little uh, bit of brush. I hope I have enough here. That's all I had laying around. Just have a little bit of brush for a, for a hackle. Is that uh, uh, just simply sparkle? Has it got some fur and some... No, this is just uh, sparkle. I don't think there's any fur in here. Okay. Um, I don't think. But anything, you know, you could even use a um, feather, you know, a hackle feather for this. Mm -hmm. um, works just as good. Uh, the only thing about this stuff is I think it sinks a little bit faster. And if you're going to the trouble to, to, to use lead eyes to begin with, um, you want it to sink. So why not use a hackle material that sinks better? Anyway, that's my two cents. All right. So you're just putting a collar on right behind the eyes. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. I mean, this is the simplest, quickest. You can tie these things one right after another. Um, and they're, they're really, really, really quite effective. Actually, I, I don't use my good scissors to cut these brushes with. Mm -hmm. I use manly pliers. I, I, kick the, I kick the thread out of the way with my hand, grab the brush, because the brush is made out of a wire, mm -hmm. and I actually cut it with the manly pliers so that I don't damage my gold scissors. Yet another use for manly pliers. Yeah. And then, so that's the fly. And then uh, when I finish it, I just use a, a whip finish that I do with my hands because it's quicker and easier. <laughs> this is old school. And that's it. That's the fly. And then I just take that scissor, put it in there, and push. That's it. You know what? That's a badass little fly <laughs> for redfish, snook, yeah. tra sea trout. Uh, I, I probably a bass would eat it. Who oh knows? yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. That, that'll catch. That'll catch bass. I'll tell you the truth. Trout would eat the hell out of that. A brown trout would eat that so fast they wouldn't even be fair. Yeah. yeah. So just a little flash, first marabou peacock curl over top. Yeah. And just kind of randomly thrown in there. And if I, you could I, see it when it's wet, it has a tremendous amount of action with that marabou. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, it looks like you use vernil, which is a variation of chenille, just a real tight chenille. Yeah. And then the, <clears throat> the brush has the collar right behind the lead eyes. And there you have, does that fly have a name? You can name it. Oh, think about it. Don't try to don't jump into anything. Look, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about that. Yeah, think about it. I'll get back. I'll have my people get back to you. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's a cool fly. You, it, you have to see it in the water to appreciate the action. Um, it's not a game changer, uh, but I think Blaine would approve. He would. But he would be nice and say that he did anyway. He would. Yeah, <laughs> whether he did or not. <laughs> right. <laughs> well. Thank, thank you so much for these scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear the finish off of these things. Yeah, well. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much. That was really sweet. Yeah, I, I, I just thought it was pretty neat. You know, fly tires are always, I mean, everybody's got scissors, but these just came out from Dr. Slick. They also, get this, they also did a set of them in Damascus. Oh my goodness! Yeah, but they were like eighteen hundred bucks. Yeah, I can imagine wholesale. I wanted, I wanted to show you something. I'm tying an awful lot of flies on these and having great results. And uh, Rob Fordyce is as well. But it's an inline hook, very short shank. Mm -hmm. uh, tremendous action with that hook in with that eye in line. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, 
and that very, very short shank uh, gives you better hookups. Mm-hmm. And they're less likely to, to throw the hook as well. Much less likely with yeah. that short, yeah, with the shorter the shank. Than... It's, it's funny you, you uh, bring this out. You know, we, uh, I don't know, a little over a year ago, we did a similar skit with Kelly Gallup, and he tied one of his flies uh, called a belly bumper, and it's also on a no kidding a, a, a inline. Great he's, minds think alike. He's yes. become a big fan. In fact, he's got a hook <clears throat> called the belly bumper hook, and it's all of them are these inline eyes. And I tell you, that is really one of my favorite flies. His yeah. belly bumper and the action on it. You're right. It just you got a great action. It just flutters eye, yeah. back and forth. Wow. Who's making that hook? Do you know? Um, Have your people get back to me. <laughs> They're on it right now. They, they overheard that. They're on it. Okay, great. Yeah, they're well, on it. Well, Flip, thank you. I'm gonna. No, no, thank you. This uh -uh. was this was extra sweet. Cool, awesome. I mean, well, it's great to uh, great to be with you and great to uh, watch. You know, watch. I don't. I don't. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure you've ever tied a fly on camera. Maybe a couple. No, I don't think I have. I don't. I think was you very have. nervous. You could probably tell. I was very nervous. Yeah. Well, wait, I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, well, it was nice of you yeah. not to. Well. All right, man. Well. Uh, you can't have that fly, actually. Oh, oh. Uh, but I just wanted you to see how I tied it. Fair enough. You can't actually have it, though. Well, I, I, was, I took a mental picture of it, and I will get back with you on the name. Okay. Well, in that case, you can have it. Oh, thanks, man. All right. All right. Cut. Okay. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Of course, what an honor. Um, and as always, Flip always has his little uh, intricacies and idiosyncrasies about how he does things. And it was just really neat to see his setup and neat to see that old vice that he and Lefty had fashioned many, many years ago. So what an honor as always thanks flip for doing that we really appreciate it and so does our audience very very special moments that we get to share with that man and uh, we're just really lucky we're really honored and uh, can't thank him enough so thanks as always for watching we really appreciate you all being here as always if you ever have any questions about these videos or anything to do with mad river outfitters or fly fishing you can send us an email at admin at madriveroutfitters.com or pick up the phone and give us a call. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. Hit the like button. That makes us feel good. And uh, stay tuned. We've got a lot of great fly fishing content coming your way.